Hello, my name is Pete and welcome along to the Rainbow Six Siege quiz. This is episode four. You guys know the score by now. Are you ready? Well, let's get going then. For question one, last week I asked you who is faster, a three speed with their primary out or a two speed with their secondary out? Well, continuing with that theme this week, the first question is, who is faster, a one speed with their secondary out or a two speed with their primary out? Usual disclaimers, of course, normal secondary pistols only and no blitz with a shield, etc, etc. So is it A, a two speed with their primary weapon out is faster, B, the one speed with secondary out is faster, or is it C, they both run at the same speed? Take a moment to think it over before I reveal the answer. Ready with that answer? Well it is A. Even though a 1 speed is faster these days, they're still not as fast as a 2 speed running with their primary. This might be surprising to some of you since last week I showed that a 2 speed can run as fast as a 3 speed with their primary out. Moving on though to question 2. This question was inspired by a tweet I saw during the week by Ace. And the question is simply, what happens if you blowtorch a mirror window as a maverick? Does it A, put a hole in the mirror window, B, cause the mirror window to drop down, or C, do nothing at all? What do you think? Take a moment and then I'll show you the answer. Did you get it? Well, the answer is C. Basically, Maverick's blowtorch does not actively do anything at all to the mirror window itself. However, interesting fact to know, and I saw a few people respond to Ace's original tweet with this answer, the mirror window itself is held in place by four bolts, which you can see on the reverse of that mirror window. So if you stand where a mirror would usually be standing, now, if you take the blowtorch and burn out exactly where those four bolts are, you will be able to drop the mirror window relatively quickly. However, this is going to take a little bit of practice for you to know exactly where those four bolts are. So if you are interested in mastering this technique, it might be worth loading up a custom match with a friend just to practice it. Question three then, in a moment I'm going to play you some audio of a DMR firing in Rainbow Six Siege and I'd like you to tell me which DMR you can hear. Is it A, Bucks Cammers, B, Lion with the 417, or C, Dokeby's MK14 EBR? So listen carefully and I'll play the audio for you now. So what do you reckon? Have you got the answer ready? It is B, Lion with the 417 DMR. Question four, and it's time for this week's community question. And do remember you can leave your community question in the comment section down below. This week's comes from Spill the Beans 34 and the question is, according to the in-game lore, which operator was previously romantically involved with Ying? Was it A? Echo, B, Lesion, or C, Jackal. What do you think? Here's a few seconds. So, according to the in game law, the answer is A, Echo. Ubisoft do love intertwining the backstories of their characters, and these two were romantically involved for a short period of time. On to question five, and this question is on in-game loadouts and attachments. Which of these attachments is not an option for IQ's G8A1? Is it A, the flash hider, B, the muzzle brake, or C, the compensator? Remember the question is which one of these is not an option. Did you get it? Well, the answer is B, the muzzle brake is not a barrel attachment option for IQ's G8A1. So how are you doing so far? Are you doing okay? We're gonna move on now to question six. 
Name the operator from these clues. Number one, they were born in Israel. Two, originally enlisted in the Israeli Defense Forces. And three, has an engineering background. Is it A, switch, B, pulse, or C, ash? Did you get the answer? Well, it is C, Ash. She was born in Israel, enlisted in the Israeli Defense Forces, studied engineering at Tel Aviv University, before eventually transferring over and joining the FBI SWAT. Okay, question seven. I'm gonna play some voice lines for you, and I'd like to know which operator you're listening to. Is it A, Ella, B, Sophia, or C, Alibi? Listen carefully. <laughs> That's not what I heard. Interesting. Claymore's ready! I'm reloading! I'll patch you up! Let's move! Smoke grenade. Detonating breach. Whatever you do, always follow through. Barricade up! Deploying a drone. Swapping megs. Setting concussion mine. Are you ready? Well, the answer is C, alibi. Um, I want to credit the YouTube channel Aaron Haley for those voice lines before we go any further. Also, I think that was a tricky one because of the reference to both attacking and defensive gadgets. But this is standard practice for Ubisoft. They tend to um, get the voice actors to read lines for both sides. Also, that reference to a concussion mine. That's a voice line I've heard a number of times by operators who don't have a gadget anything like that. Not just Ella and Sophia, but male operators too. So I wonder if that's something that we might see in the future, or a gadget that perhaps didn't get off the drawing board and was scrapped by UB. Okay, on to question 8, and if you've got them all right so far, you need this one to get the complete sweep. And the topic of this one is seasons. During the course of which season were the new attachments of a heavy barrel and muzzle brake added into Rainbow Six Siege? Was it during A, Operation Red Crow, B, Operation Dust Line, or C, Operation Skull Rain? So here we go, the answer is C. It was during Operation Skull Rain that the heavy barrel and muzzle brake were added into Rainbow Six Siege. So that is the end of today's quiz. Did you get them all correct? Eight out of eight. Which ones were easy and which, if any, were tricky for you? Let me know in the comment section just how you did. And also appearing on screen now in the top right is a poll. Take that poll to see how you did compared to everyone else who took the quiz. If you did enjoy this little quiz, it would help me a great deal if you'd consider dropping this video a like. And if you're new here, please do subscribe with notifications turned on to ensure you don't miss next week's episode. Do remember as well to keep leaving the community questions in the comment section down below the video. And if you missed any of the previous episodes of the quiz, here's a chance to catch up with them now. They will be linked in the description of this video and also in a pinned comment. And with that, we are at the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me for the quiz, and I hope to see you again next week. But until then, take care.